People that just film themselves during the day doing whatever. Do what you love, but... I couldn't believe my eyes. And at that moment, I felt like I wanted to step on stage and slap her in the face. Ow. You give them a path and you give them a system. Do, do you find... <laughs> <laughs> and the answer of this specific influencer was... The privacy of our life and not constantly living with a phone in our hands. Keep doing what you love and things will happen for you. I felt like I had another job. We want you to succeed. We care about that because we were in the same situation years ago. Compared to a content creator, you become the product. If you want to become an influencer or a content creator, and you think that just doing what you love is gonna bring you success, you are completely missing the point. There is a much better way and more specific way to go about what you love that you might not be aware of. And in this video, we want to just clear the air and get you on the right track. So we went to this marketing event. We're not gonna mention what it was because we wanted to learn. We're always open to learn. So we got there, there's a big crowd of people content creators that wanted to become influencers or content creators in general. So we step into this big atrium and there is a couch on the stage. There's a big crowd waiting for the host to come in on stage. And they finally do. And uh, they arrive, they sit down and they start talking about their story. Let's tell them because we're always eager to learn from people because they might have a little trick, something that they've done, a strategy, a way of thinking, of a way of foreseeing something that we have have not yet come across because it comes always back into I'm sure they know something that we don't know. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But even if they don't say anything new, it's always refreshing to know that you are in the room of like-minded people. That is very important. So we get our place into the crowd. We're there standing, waiting for these people to come out and say and tell their story. We had no idea what these people were, first of all because they were all influencers, like the, the classical influencers, people that just film themselves during the day doing whatever, and they've got lots of subscribers for it. So we don't follow these people because we're, we're not interested. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, we don't know, honestly don't know these people. And they described their day. I couldn't believe my eyes. I, hang on. But I remember, like, do you remember? Because people in the crowd were literally eager. Like, well, they were there as eager as us. But they knew these people. They knew who they were. And they were waiting for them to... Um, spill the beans to on spill what the, the secret beans. is. What is the secret to be an influencer? And there was one specific thing that came out. They were telling the story of how they started, how they went on, how they got deals with brands and all of that. And then during the Q&A, people actually asked them, so what do you suggest we do if we wanted to get where you are? And the answer of this specific influencer was, keep doing what you love and things will happen for you. And at that moment, I felt like I wanted to step on stage and slap her in the face because that's not a good suggestion. Do, do you find, <laughs> <laughs> apart from the fact that you wanted to slap. How is that person? even useful? What can I do with this answer? What do I do? I keep doing what I love. Well, I love stepping on paddles. Is that gonna be making me money in a year or so? What, yeah, what? no, so let <gasps> tell, so obviously we created something because people needed it, but I know that you have specific answers that's what i love about you yeah you cr you grab everything that people love and you give them a path and you give them a system and i know that you have something very specific to, yes. to say okay do what you love but think about this two things so yes everything has got a formula like this topic has got a formula as well to me at least so yes you need to be doing something that you love the first one is finding the thing that you love the second thing is that you should be good at the very thing that you love and it should be a teachable skill because if you are the only one being able to perform whatever you love, well, it's, it doesn't count. Because the third point is that people might want to have the very thing that you love. So they want to achieve the same results that you have, which means it's, it's got a market. Your skill has got a market. So you're doing what you love, you're good at what you love and you can teach others what you love and make money with it. Now we're talking. 
do you find that being an influencer and being a content creator have got two different paths? Completely. Or the problem for me being an influencer is that compared to a content creator, you become the product. So if you're an influencer, you make people love you. What you do, the values that you believe in, everything is about you. So you can argue that's brilliant. The Rock has got a brilliant personal brand. They buy whatever The Rock will say, hey, buy my tequila. Boom, it's a billion dollar business. Okay, but that's not at the level we're talking about. How can a normal, regular person can become an influencer? You need to have presence, you need to have an interesting life, you need to constantly put yourself on camera, doesn't matter if you want it or not, and that for me doesn't set well because I want to have private things in my life that I don't want to share. But that's what people want to know about you. They want to know everything, your intimacy, because they feel they want to be closer. I think like we we tried that part as well. But again, as you were saying, one there's two specific things that we decided that we did not want to do. Number one, having constantly the phone in our hands. I don't think we, it was the our thing to just grab the, the, the mug and eat and like drinking off the mug and just saying to people, this is a very good mug. And then getting the affiliate link to do that. Or filming every time you're eating cereal. Or having those affiliate links always in everything that you do in your life. And not having privacy in what we do. Yes, it's cool to be on social media. There is a part of your life that you want to keep to yourself. And also, we did try, like, come on, like, we did do it. We did a few deals where we... Yes, the, we, we, we signed got, up a couple of deals that were from five to ten thousand dollars so sponsorships are very profitable but how did you feel about those that's the interesting thing because i felt like i had another job because every time we shot something that i thought it was in line with what i wanted to do with what i wanted to create with what i wanted to deliver to my audience and we submitted it to the client the client came back and said, oh no, I don't, I don't want you to say that. Or I don't think that is in line with our brand. Pretty much I had to retake everything that we did, reshot them, and then resubmitted it again to the client. Again, it was a client, meaning I was, again, the product. I needed to do what they wanted me to do if they were happy or not. And I had to change the content accordingly. It was going back into having a job. I so that's what we didn't want to do. I said, if I want to sell something, I want to sell my thing because it makes me happy and I want to do that in my own terms. Whether I like it, whether or not, it needs to be in my own terms. Not that someone else tells me what I need to do, what I need to say and how I want to sell it. That was very important. So these two things, the privacy of our life and not constantly living with a phone in our hands. And the second one, I didn't want to have anyone telling me what to do mm -hmm. in a way. That's the main thing. Isn't it? it was the main thing. So if you want to become an influencer because your life is amazing, you just can't stop about everything you do, that's your path. Amazing. You will find that growing an audience is going to be easy, especially if you've got presence on camera. But honestly, prepare to feel like you're owning a job more than a business. If you're a content creator and you're helping others, you're not the product anymore. You are the vehicle for somebody else's result, which is so much better position in my opinion, because at that point you can create products and people by trusting you will trust the product and buy it from you. Or maybe you already have a product and you want to sell it even more and that takes me to something very important because otherwise I'm going to forget. If you want to sell more of your product, I highly recommend and I invite you to the masterclass that we're going to be doing on the 2nd of February. In this masterclass, we will teach you what worked for us in terms of presenting the best offer you could present to your ideal client using our template. We are gonna give away, this is not a webinar where you just, we talk about the problem for an hour and then we pitch you a something to buy. This is going to be a masterclass where you learn how to present your offer better and therefore boost your sales if you're trying to sell something right now. So if you want to reserve your spot, click on the link below. It's free and we just need your email to send you the link for the event when it starts. Because we also do what we love. We love for talented people to get out of their shell and finally sell their stuff properly without being salesy or douchey. Okay, so if you like that, 
step away from this video and watch something else. We want you to succeed. We care about that because we were in the same situation years ago. We had so much experience and talent. We had no idea what to do with it. We finally found a structure we just want to share with you. And if you are one of those that think that you need to have a big audience to do anything, to get some money with what you do online, please be assured this is not the case. And if you've got less than a thousand subscribers on your YouTube channel right now, and you are serious about monetizing it without thinking about YouTube monetization or AdSense and all the rubbish, watch this video because I'm going to teach you how you can make money right now with the following you have now. Prova, 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 Paulina, prova, prova. Mm-hmm.